Yeah, diving into we talked a little bit beforehand, but you know, diving into all your output and diving into just live shows and just watching videos, man. It's just it's it's crazy how that scene can be going on and not a ton of people really know it's going on. I mean, metal, you know, metal festival is kind of the same way, but like that that whole EDM scene, man, it's just like everybody is just having a blast and just having a good time. Everybody's dancing. I mean, I was listening to the stuff in the house and I'm like, you know, already dancing with my headphones in. I mean, it just it just makes you move, man. But uh <laughs> but to see everybody out there, it's it's got to be nuts. Yeah, it's um you made a good point. Yeah, like the it's it's so interesting at least from my perspective. Like I grew up listening to a bunch of everything that I grew up listening to, uh, all types of rock, music, metal, alternative, pop punk, different types of bands, all over that kind of spectrum. And um, it's interesting how like the two worlds, like the more I talk to guys in bands or fans that come from that world that are either still in that world or have tra transitioned and like have grown into liking electronic music, there is still some sort of like, not a, not a negative divide, but you're right. The, the worlds are so polar opposite but mm -hmm. also like if you really dive down deep and you especially when you start to realize where a lot of the guys in bass music from the yeah. electronics and they all come from like some sort of like hardcore fucking <laughs> right. metal background and we're either in a band or that's what they grew up listening to um in the 90s and 2000s and, and so on and it's it's interesting how kind of there is a there is a deep rooted like connection between the two worlds that yeah. just Sometimes it just takes a bit more digging or talking to you to understand that there actually is a lot of similarities um, between the two worlds than some might think from like a fan perspective when you just like look at the shows and you look at the kind of mainstream electronic music and you're like, this, there's no way these two could ever live in the same right. house. But you'd be surprised. Well, I mean, the main guy that kind of bridged that gap years ago was Skrillex, you know, coming yeah. from from first to last. And then, you know, because I, I loved that band. And then when he kind of started doing the Skrillex stuff, you know, it really kind of opened your eyes to what what, uh, you know, what you could do. And then obviously the Corn album where they did an entire, you know, EDM record, which if you kind of go back and listen to it now is a little bit of ahead of its time. Very, uh, you know, oh, it, dude, it got are, panned yeah. at the time, but but now it's it's, you know, kind of cool to listen to. Yeah, it's 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 they were so ahead of the curve specifically talking about that album and even and even a lot of what Skrillex did like the collabs he did with like The Doors and things like that nature like way back when like early well like 2010 time period and people didn't really understand even his background from the electronic side, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a lot of people just know him as Skrillex and Skrillex and dubstep and 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 now you know a lot of the type different types of pop records he does but there is a large a lot of people that don't know his his background from from first to last and where he comes from and mm -hmm. why those connections kind of why they make sense and why they fit um but yeah i i think there there is just there's been so much before now like skrillex or the corn album or bands like pendulum and different types of bands that are electronic but also live that have kind of opened a lot of doors for people like myself and others that come from the same background but didn't really know where to go like what doors to go through when starting to make music um you know so you got to definitely respect those guys and and what i really love what i love most now that i've seen i've seen so many of my favorite bands whether it's bring me the horizon under oath just to name a couple that have been experimenting so much with the electronic side of things and i always like to look at it like um like I'm on this end of the spectrum. I come from like electronic music, but I mix a lot of like rock and metal and different instrument instruments and live instruments and different things into my music. And they come from this like this other scene on the other side of the, the spectrum, and they're introducing electronic and synth elements to their music now. And it's kind of like we're just kind of like meeting tick 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 just to meet in the middle <laughs> here and find some of some sort of like cohesiveness between like these kind of these worlds. And I think it's a super super awesome time for for both worlds of music and the more that we can kind of come together and just continue to experiment. Uh, I think there's just so much ahead, you know, so.